Yeah, Aaron, let me break this down for the viewers. This overlay will not cost the city a penny. Business owners will be required to follow these restrictions with their own funds. Now, today, the proposal received a lot of backlash. Objections to what's going on, but everybody wants to work together. The Russell Parkway overlay will add additional regulations for business owners, including landscape, building structure, installing sidewalks, and color, just to name a few. Sherry Windham, the director of community development, says the overlay has one goal in mind. To make our entranceway off of the interstate more aesthetically pleasing and attractive to draw people off of the interstate to come to our city. Council member Tim Thomas has been at the head of the proposal and says it needs to happen now, but they are open to compromise. We have got to get something in place that we all can agree on because if we're not careful, we're going to have another lots of bulldog. Dozens of community members spoke out against the proposal and offered adjustments they hope will be made. This is not what we signed up for. I don't know if any of y'all go up and down Russell, but you know, it's pretty well already. We don't need to add this to make things harder for economic growth to occur. You know, you're talking about a sidewalk and shrubbery and things that are proposed. That's thousands of dollars for our congregation try to come up with. As of tonight, the proposal will head to planning and zoning on November 12th for a vote before the final vote happens before council. I don't think it's fair to like, ram this down everybody's throat in two weeks to take a vote. Warner Robins Mayor Randy Toms was in the heat of the discussion. I wouldn't have a problem putting this off for at least 30 days personally because what I'm hearing is, is I'm hearing uh, everybody in here saying the same thing. According to Tom's, he does not have the power to stop the proposal from moving forward.